I did fine while I was here. I got good grades. I can tell you I didn't miss any classes. I missed two uh, classes in my four years at the university. I was paying to go to school. Why in the world would I pay for something and then not go? Uh, my grandfather passed away, and when he did, I, I missed classes uh, one day. Drove down and drove back. If you're here and you're paying to go to school, which I'm assuming most of you are, or your mom and dad are paying for you to go to school, I'd go to class. Somebody is preparing that class for you to teach you some things that are important. But I didn't come here for the academics. I didn't know much about the University of Dayton. What I knew was this. It was the best football program that offered me an opportunity to attend their school. It was the best one. Uh, you know, I was just like you when I was in high school and, and schools were coming in to recruit me. I was not good enough to be a scholarship football player. I wasn't big enough or fast enough or whatever it was. I was lacking something that didn't allow for me to be offered a scholarship. But I knew this. I wanted to play. As Coach Chamberlain said, I wanted to coach. I knew from a very early age all I wanted to do was to coach high school football. I knew that. So I wanted to go somewhere where they were going to be really good. And I'll talk about why uh, in a minute. But I, it was the best place that gave me the opportunity to play. It had an unbelievable, the university had an unbelievable head coach at that time. It was a man named Rick Carter. And most of you may not have ever heard of Rick Carter. But he was a fantastic football coach. He had an assistant, a defensive coordinator named Mike Kelly. He was the guy that was recruiting me directly. And so I came here because what I wanted to do was play football, the best place somebody offered me, and I wanted to win. The University of Dayton was going to give me the opportunity to win. When I was a high school football player, we won. We were successful. But I wanted to win, and I wanted to win every time I played. And of all the schools that recruited me, the University of Dayton was the place for me to go. I believe in the power of transformation. You guys are incredibly successful right now, right? You're really, really good. You, what you did last year, in my opinion, is, is much greater than what we did when we won a national championship. You guys are exceeding the expectations that people have for you. Do you realize that? I'm asking you, do you realize that? If you don't realize that, I'm here to tell you. Thank you. I'm here to tell you as a proud alumnus of this university, you're exceeding the expectations that people have for you. You're doing something special. You have a chance to create and make history at the University of Dayton. I got to be a part of a historical team. How many national championships have been won here, Rick? Two? Three? Four. Four. Isn't that awesome? That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Never at any single time did we do that where the field was kind of slanted a little bit. Now we're, now we're changing the conversation. We're not just going all about winning, right? We're about winning championships, right? You won your conference, right? Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Will winning the conference be good enough this year? Will it be good enough this year? No. <laughs> Then whatever it was that we did last year to win the conference, we now have to do what? More. More. And it's scary to take on that responsibility. It's special to take on that responsibility. To wear the brand of champion requires extraordinary commitment, effort, intensity <coughs> about everything that you do. Absolutely, your family and those other things in your life that are really important. I'm not going to tell you not to go to class. I went to class. Go to class. Take care of your business. Absent those things, go win a championship. Go find a way to win the championship. Go find a way to make history. Do you know when the University of Dayton wins that national championship, what an historical event that'll be? They've never even had a playoff game won by a non-scholarship 1AA school or whatever division they call this now. Is that accurate? It's never been done before. Aren't you, aren't you excited about the possibility of creating history? Doing something special? And the reason we can have this conversation is because you are that good. You do have that kind of team coming back. you got 15, 50 year seniors who said it's important enough to me to stay here to put off going out into the real world making money. And if 
you did that, you fifth year guys, if you did that, if you made that commitment, don't waste a day, man. Don't waste a day. And I applaud you for it. Because the world's full of guys who are getting up going to work from 9 to 5 and catching a paycheck. It's not full of guys who stand on a podium someday and, work, and hold up a championship trophy. It's not. It's not full of guys who get to put on that national championship ring. The world's not full of those guys. Those guys are extraordinary. Those guys are special. You got a chance to be one of those. What a great thing. What a great thing to have found yourself in that arena. 